Welcome back to Big and Scary Beast. Tonight, we've got Dustin with us again. So, anyway, we're going to review BAM. Innocent Guns Rum Age. But it says, I don't know, it says Beer Age with Rum Oak Chips. Now, my theory is, okay, I've had a lot of um, barrel aged beers. They're good. I love them. They're really good. I'm a sucker for a barrel aged beer. But my problem with this is are we going to get the rum flavor and uh, the oak flavor at the same time? Um, I, I don't know if this is just oak chips or, you know, they've cut up a barrel that they've used that was had rum in it or whatnot. I don't know. Um, have not done, you know, a lot of research or anything on this. This one just states that it's 6.8% alcohol by volume and an 11.2 ounce full ounce uh, bottle here. I do not like the clear glass um, because of the sheer fact that it could go skunked very easily. Um, I do not see an aging on the bottle or a born on date on said bottle. Not a not a not a damn thing. Anyway, let's go ahead and pop this open and get it in you know, since this is a small serving. Let's go ahead and see what we can get out of it. Look at that. Ooh, get them some smoke it. Head there. Si, senor. Said head. Set this glass right there. And as for coloring, it is a dark, dark oh. copper, dark amber. Yeah, it's like a really deep. Amber smile. Oh, going on. Okay. Um, yeah, I want to call this like a dark amber color, dark copper color. Um, can't see it very well on the camera, but as um, we get some lighting into it, oh, I'm a very popular man tonight. Um, well, if you want to do that, I, I tend to, I have done a couple of things with my cell phone more recently. You know, I go over to a, yeah, there you go, hey, look at that, there you go, look at that, exactly the same thing I was going to do, see, you know, it said, flashlight app, yep, I got a torch, always lovely to hold, have a hold of, power it up, and this is what we're getting, I mean, if you tend to shine said light into the glass, this is the color that you're seeing. Well, maybe a little bright in certain spots. And shine it up from the bottom. Pretty much just what I said, man. You're getting a dark amber color. Uh, as for the head, I mean, since it's went down, I mean, it's very bubbly, very rocky. Um, not too shabby, maybe half a finger's worth of a head. Um, it, it's very clean. There, wipe off the carbonation here and the condensation. Um, carbonation is nil to none in this in this glass. Let's see if we can stir it up when and you, get a little bit of a... I think that's when you stir it up a bit. You do get that build, but you don't have that build coming from the bottom naturally. Yeah, but if you notice, I mean, if you look at it, it almost has like a tinge of a pink head. Yeah. Other than that, just looking at it, traditional kind of uh, amber, dark amber, or a red ale. Um, other than that, let's go ahead and get a nose on it. Oh, man.
Okay, I'm, I'm getting that. I'm getting that sweet. I'm getting that a little bit of that rum, but what's bothering me is I am getting that skunk. <clears throat> See, that's what I hate about clear I bottles. I'm getting a skunk scent on this. I don't know. I I do get a little bit of a a sweetness to it, yeah. but the skunkage is there. <clears throat> dun dun dun. It's really disappointing. Well, let's go ahead and try it out anyway. Close. Cheers. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, I'm getting the rum. The rum is there. I'm definitely getting the rum. I'm getting, I don't know why, but I'm getting a watery taste. Well, it is ve it's very light. Yeah. Light and body. So, I I'm going to chalk that up to that. That, and because beer is made with 93% water. I know, but usually <laughs> it's like, you get the flavors before you get the water, and this one's like, tastes, I don't know. You get a bit of that stunk flavor. Yeah, I want to chalk this up as a bad bottle. The only reason I say that is because I'm getting kind of like that, uh, um, what do you want to call it? Besides skunk, um, kind of like that, uh, you get the starch? Kind of a turned cabbage flavor. Okay. I was getting a bit of like a starchy, uh, maybe sort of potato flavor. It's nice that the rum stuck around, though. Oh, yeah, I do love rum. That's one reason I wanted to try this one. Um, I'm getting, uh, yeah, I'm getting that, uh, it's real, like, vegetable. Yeah, I think it's pretty much because of the fact that the beer has probably seen its better days because of a clear bottle. Hmm. I don't know if it's just because of that or if it's because of the fact, hey, there it is. Wait, wait one minute. Here it could be the problem. Now, I do not know if this is a born on date or if this is a, you know, brewed date or, you know, whatever. Right here, there's a little bit of rain right here. It says January 14th. 2013. No, 2014. 2013, right? Oh. Mm, January 2014. So, I'm going to chalk this up as because it's a clear, clear bottle. Why am I going to say that? Because of the sheer fact that it says that this beer should have been good till January 2014. J-A-N-2014-T3. Okay. So, I, I am pretty sure that they have made this beer to last, if stored properly, till then. Um, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm not getting the right flavoring or from this. It says, uh, ruby red beer been aged with, uh, rum chips, resulting in a brew with a delicious warming character. Don't get that. Um, that is bursting with fruit warming spices. Now, if you're going to talk as of spices, maybe some, you know, vegetables, maybe. It's got that little bit of a skunky scent to it. Which, we kind of had that with the last bottle that we tried from this company as well. Yeah. That so, was also in a clear bottle. Yeah. Well, most of their beers come in a clear bottle. Um, if not all of them, matter of fact. You know, I can't remember the time that I've had an innocent gun 
that I have not had in a clear bottle. This is almost a staple from them. So therefore, I, I don't know if we're just not getting it, if this is just their pronounced flavoring in their beer, or if this is just their style. It smells skunky. It smells... <sighs> smells like you just walked up on a patch of uh, skunk cabbage. I just... I mean, you got the rum there, but it's like... There's just this vegetable body, like a... I don't know if it's a potato. It's a yeah. starch vegetable. Yeah, it's, there. it's, it's a little starchy. It set like a starch does, but it tastes like a starch would. Yeah, and it's leaving a film on my tongue, too, like... Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I, I don't want to call them a bad company, but in just everything that in general that we've had, I don't know if it's sat around too long, or I don't know if it's just uh, if it's just the company that we're just not getting. I don't know. We've had two different beer reviews within the last couple of weeks, including this one, um, that it, it's just turned out bad. Definitely not to expect changes. Yeah. Um, when when you say that you're you know. A good company, you know, from overseas. Maybe it's just, you know, uh, I, I don't know what to tell you about it. it it's just, it, it's it's got that skunkiness. It's got that, you know, kind of you know, to me a little bit of a, you know, sour cabbage note. The only reason I keep sipping on it is because of the fact that it's still got a rum flavor to it, which kind of like denotes just. Kind of like mellows everything else out. At least it's not overly sweet. Yeah, that last one. Oh, God. Um, but anyway, I'm going to, again, you know, I'm going to have to give this a C. I'm going to rest right there with you. All right, I because mean, of the sheer fact that, uh, um, like I, I said, mean, I don't know if it's a bad bottle. It could have sat around too uh, long. I, I, don't I still know. think a C's pushing it if it didn't have the rum flavor. Yeah, if it didn't have the rum flavor, the dude. Yeah, it would <laughs> have been gone. It would have been like, and we'd have a bucket right here and be pouring it in it. Um, other than that, I, I'd give it the fact that it has good lacing to it. I don't know if that's just giving points to a beer that sucks. I feel like we're just looking for things. Yeah, we kind of are. So, therefore, we're just going to land it right here. We've talked too long about this. Here is a bad beer. Get it fresh. Taste it. You know, if you like it, you know, let us know. But if you had this kind of bottle... You know, and it says January 2014. Um, let us know what you kind of think about it, man. We want to know whether or not, you know, we're getting the same type of stuff that's out there. You know, what, is it out of date? Is it a bad bottle? Is it a bad batch? Is it, what are we missing here that we are not getting? Um, with that said, get out there, drink good craft beer that is fresh. I'm telling you, bad beer leads to bitter aftertaste. Ugh. That's it. Peace, deuces, pros, cheers, man. I'll see you up on the other side, man. Okay.